Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back, and we are replaying Final Fantasy IV. What the hell? Wait a minute. Wait, it, it, wait, it, what? No. No, 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 no. I was about to talk to this guy. That's rude to give me an enemy encounter that fast. Yes, I'll join you. Wow, you're gonna let me... Wow, you're gonna warp me all the way back, huh? How nice of you. Wow, I didn't even have to slog through the cave again. That is pretty sweet. Is that the same guy that I found in the, uh, the self-cave or something? It's crazy. That's crazy. So, if I go back to that one house, do I get something for bringing him back? Or how does that work? I don't know what this quest is about right now. It's, like, weird. Thanks, Rydia. I'm so relieved he's safe and sound. But there's still more of them out there. Please, you must find them. Yeah, okay, there's an oasis somewhere. Whatever. Okay, so we're gonna... Yeah, I, I guess uh, we're gonna be searching for more of these guys. I don't know how many more of them there are. But we're gonna be searching for them. So that's cool, I guess. Um, I'll save right there. We're gonna take on Leviathan now. It is time to take on Leviathan, finally. I should be strong enough to do it. The only thing holding me back before was levels. So I figured if I need to level up, I might as well do the Sylph Cave. So let's go talk to the King of the Eidolons. Still gonna be pretty tough, I think, but I think I can get him now. Uh, yeah, sure. Please don't kill us. I mean, please don't kill us. Alright, I want to use Zeus's Wrath on Edge. Hopefully he survives this earlier part here. Yeah, he's going to open the battle with the Luge. Yeah, that really sucks. That really sucks. Gotta get slow on this boss. That's enough. I'm gonna go with a little shell here. my good stuff, like my Hermes Sandals. Uh, yeah, this guy doesn't use that stuff.
Oh, that attack won't bother me. Time for a little Ramu. Alright, Berserk. On edge. And one more spell here. Just haste on uh, yourself there, Rosa. Now we're going to start doing some damage. There we go. Alright, we got him. Say, if you can survive that Deluge attack, then this guy isn't hard at all. Just use Lightning Elemental attacks, Ramu, and he dies. I think this is the first time I've ever fought this guy with the Avenger Sword, too, so that seemed to work pretty good. Usually beat this guy before I get that weapon, but whatever. That works. Indeed, you bear the light. Very well. Go with the power of the Idolian King at your command. Dun dun dun! And Rydia learns the Leviathan Summon which is a very, very powerful summon. We will totally make use of it. And uh, we can just leave now, I think, right? I can just teleport out of here, so... I'll do that, and I'll meet you at the sealed cave. Alright, if you want to make your life easier for this next dungeon, equip Cecil with the Aegis Shield. Uh, it protects against instant death. Also, if you did give draw attacks to Cecil, and uh, you're smart if you did, make sure that is equipped as well, because that will also be very, very helpful for this next dungeon. So anyways, this is the sealed cave entrance. And no sign of Golbez's forces yet. Uh, no, he's probably just waiting for us to open the door. <laughs> you know? Yeah, who would have thought that Luca's necklace was so important? But anyways, let's go ahead and open this door. Why is it going back up? No, go down, go down, go down. There we go. Uh, where the hell is... There we go. That's what I need. And there you have it. Alright, it's the B1 area. Alright, we got some new enemies here. Vampire Bats. And they have a lot of HP. Leave their weak to fire. Yeah, I have the uh, Avenger Sword equipped on Kane, and he should be wrecking ass in this dungeon. He should, yeah, he should be kicking ass. <coughs> That's for sure. Yeah, the seal is broken. We must now hurry to the crystal. Will the enemy follow us in? Well, if they're smart, then they will. So yes, they probably will. Oh, okay. Too quiet, huh? Interesting. So uh, we can use these ropes to climb down. 
and explore some more. All right, we got some more new enemies: Vampirus, Lesser Merilith, and uh, whatever that guy is in back. I think he's a Manta Chimera Brain. You want to get stopped on the Chimera Brain because it will use a Blaze attack that can really, really hurt your party. Again, that's why you want elemental reducing equipment on Cecil if you can. Come on, man. Just kill this bitch already. There we go. Yeah, make sure you get stopped on the Chimera Brain. Those guys can really hurt you. If you have more than one Chimera Brain, I recommend using a Bronze Hourglass. That way they're not spamming that uh, whatever attack they do against you, that flame attack. Kind of looks like uh, white flame or something. I forgot what it's called. No, don't go back up. I don't want to go back up. Go back down. Come on, game. Don't just automatically do that shit. Alright, and this is our first instance of a trap door. Yeah, that's right. This guy can use an instant death attack on you, but if you have the Aegis Shield with Cecil and draw attacks, you have absolutely positively nothing to worry about because a trap door will always target Cecil and he will always try to use ninth dimension on Cecil, which is the instant death attack. On. You know, his accuracy is laughably bad with a Defender Sword. I mean, it's a great sword, but <laughs> the accuracy sucks. And that's the only reason why I don't use it for pretty much the rest of the game, is, is the fact that the, the accuracy sucks. I mean, I, I used it in my original Let's Play of this game longer than I probably should have, because in the final dungeon he was just missing constantly. But, uh, the, yeah, there you go. Even the doors themselves seem determined to keep us out. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? Spooky. <clears throat> yeah. The doors that move. And fight. <laughs> Please tell me all the doors are not like that. Oh, no, just most of them. Yeah. Yeah, definitely not something you see every day, that's for sure. Alright, we got two treasures we can get in here. Alright, and in this chest we get a Kotetsu Blade, which is pretty much worthless at this point. Uh, yeah, I decided to get rid of the Moon Ring Blade and just give Edge Kiku Ijimanjis, because uh, I just wanted the better attack power. As you can see, the Kotetsu Blade isn't as good. It's not bad, it's just not as good as what I already have, so I'm not going to use it. Because I think technically the game designers uh, want most players to come here first before going to the land of summons and uh, the Sylph Cave, but if you're smart, you go to those places first and then you come here. I'm just going to put it to you like this. It's a lot easier to uh, fight bosses with five party members as opposed to four. That's all I'm going to say about that.
Alright, in this chest we get a bestiary. Which is the Libra spell, essentially. Alright, so we got another one of these ropes we can use to climb here. Alright, Edge got to level 50, and he learns Hero's Rhyme, and he learns the Gale Ninjutsu ability. So I just needed to show that. Alright, let's look at freaking Bard Song Crab. Hero's Rhyme. Boost, oh, okay, it'll boost the attributes of uh, the character by 10%. Nice. Make use of that. I was making use of Haste March in the last battle. Uh really helped out Kane and his Avenger sword. I'd say a Bard Song isn't too bad in this game. It sucks in the 2D iterations of Final Fantasy IV, but it's pretty good in this version of the game. I like it. In some cases. It's not useful all the time, but... You know. You know what I mean. Ah! Crap. I'll show this battle. Just because it's interesting. Oh, no, no, no. Rydia, black magic. Stop. No, they haven't used Blaze yet, which is, uh... Oh, well, they never did. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's a pretty dangerous attack. Gotta watch out for that. Yeah, final crystal is here and well protected. And God, I can't see anything. Uh, the way to the moon, Edge. Weren't you listening? Or wait, maybe he wasn't around when we heard that before. Yeah, it's going to be a while until we actually get to it. It's a pretty big cavern. Alright, we get three Gaia drums. I think Rydia already knows the Quake spell, so... Eh, not as useful. And yeah, I'll just show all these trap door battles, because... They're laughably easy. With the right setup, and the right equipment. Yeah, if you don't kill those trapdoors fast enough, they'll actually morph into a different monster. But I don't think that's going to happen, ever, with the setup that I have. I'll be right back. Alright, I think I'm just going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of this replay of Final Fantasy IV. In the next episode, we are going to continue our exploration of the sealed cave. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.